um, abridging the freedom of speech, the press, or the right of people to peacefully assemble and to petition the government and to redress grievances. Okay, but that does not say looting, rioting, burning, assaulting, battery. It doesn't say any of those things. So we can specifically not say protesting because the moment you throw a brick, the moment you light a building on fire, you're not protected by this anymore and you have broken the law. So we have to stand up and start using words like words have been weaponized mm. and we have allowed it to happen. And the fact that you would that somebody could sit there and say all lives matter and they lose their job over it, but all lives do matter to include black lives. And we're a complex society in the 21st century. I think we've evolved enough where we can say, yes, there's a problem maybe with even the, the system in some urban communities that we have to address that it makes it very difficult for blacks in Chicago, in Baltimore, in Detroit to, re to rise above whatever socioeconomic level they were at that they were born at or the parents were at. And they've been there for the past two generations. Okay, I can say that that's a problem and let's figure out a way to address it. Um, and I can also say that that recent kid that was just born with Down syndrome, whose color of his skin doesn't matter, I also think his life matters. 